guys, it's Nikki here again, uh, bringing another video to you. Today, I'm gonna do a little bit of um, mono printing with my jelly plate. Or actually, I should, I should correct that. I did a lot of printing yesterday. It's been a little while since I've played with my jelly plate here. So yesterday, I went a little crazy and pulled out a bunch of papers. I did a bunch of mono printing on them. I was testing out some new papers. I bought some of this, I think this is like rice paper. I got it off of Amazon, it's really nice. And then I had like some, some book pages, um, a bunch of little things. And with the magic of video editing, I'm gonna insert that footage right here.
All right, let's take a look and see what we have after all of our jelly printing this morning. I have this one on a piece of scrapbook paper. Turned out very nice. Um, these on the book pages, I like these. I like the paper's not super thick. I really like this yellow one. You can still see the words and stuff. That's gonna be fun to collage with. This one. All these turned out so great. These on the map. Papers. More on book pages on this one. I love these thinner ones. Map. This one with a bubble wrap. This on uh, more book pages. I think this is a uh, recipe book pages. I do not know yet what I'm gonna use these on, but they are great. And this, this is that rice paper. I got some, I got it off of Amazon and this is the first time I've used it for anything. And this is just lovely. It's, it's almost like tissue paper. Um, so I think that's gonna be really fun for collage. And those turned out great. I love this with the purple and the orange. So pretty, the two layers. So pretty, oh my goodness, so gorgeous. This one, with that little hint of bubble wrap. Oh, it's so pretty, the texture in it is just amazing. This kind of red, orangey red and brown. This one turned out so great too, I love that, the purple and the green with little bits of the orange. Oh, so nice. I do not know yet what I'm gonna use these for but they're gonna be fun. Oh, there's another book page in there. This is that other tissue paper. Oh, just gorgeous, gorgeous. This one. I definitely made more than I was expecting to because it's just so addicting. I just kept going and going, needing to get more paper. Oh, this one's fun too. I like this. That, that red is definitely very orangey. So that orange and purple is just so great. So great. And then this one, the turquoise and purples. Oh, so good. And then I have some other papers. This one, oh, that's so fun. I think I'm gonna cut this out and add it as a page into a journal or something because um, I could do more art on this and then still have the back I could do something on. This was just, this is a um, sketch paper that I'm really not crazy about this paper, um, but that makes it kind of great for this because I don't really care how it turns out. So I can then just use those for collage pieces. And here's some more of that paper. I really like how this one turned out. I mean, there's, um, it was like leftover paint, so I didn't really care at all. And it, that one turned out great. And this one, oh, I do like all the different colors on that. Look at that, oh, so pretty, so pretty. And then this one's on mixed media paper. The rest of these are on mixed media paper. So yes, I like, like those, oh, so great. So yeah, we'll have to see how I want to use these. Oh, I, I do like that. The browns with little bits of purple and white. So good, so good. Alrighty. And I'm back now. So now that you've seen what I went through to create all these gorgeous papers, I want to actually do something with them. Um, I'm wanting to make a little bit of collage with them and so I'm gonna put the camera here in overhead mode so that you can watch me work on that. So for my project today, I figure I would work in this um, book here that I have. This is a Dana Wakely, I believe, Dana Wakely um, mixed media journal. And I both love this book and am so lost with how to use it. 
Um, the pages in here are a mix. You have these uh, watercolor papers, and they're they're cotton. They're they're an interesting texture. They're very absorbent, but they're a little bit different than the watercolor paper I'm used to using in other sketchbooks or even standalone paper. But I do like it. It's 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 just interesting. And then you have you can see here there's these burlap pages. Um, there's these canvas pages, and then there's a few of these craft pages. The one thing I don't care for with this journal is it doesn't really lay flat, and especially between the signatures, which is between these two craft papers, you can see it's really, really bulges up. Um, so I'm not crazy about that, but the book itself is is really neat. And I, I've obviously done a few things in here, you can see, um, but not a ton. I have a lot of things started in here, but not really finished. Um, so I'm gonna just pick a page here. I think I'm gonna go with this green page and start adding some layers of the green on top of it. And then I think I'm gonna do some negative painting on top of that background. I think that is my plan for today. And we'll see, we'll see where it goes. So I'm gonna clip that, some of these down um, just to help keep them in place while I'm working. Um, and I'm just working on this side here. And yeah, so let's, uh, let's pick out some pages and get started glowing stuff down. I got my, I think I'm gonna glue things down with this gel mat. Um, this matte medium here. So I'm gonna need to get a brush. I'm gonna need to, what else do I need? Do I wanna use regular glue? I think I'm gonna go with this rather than just regular glue. Okay. And yeah, I'm gonna start, let's start with this one. And since I have, my background already painted. If I have spots where I don't cover everything, that is okay. I should probably get something here. This all down with good. Ooh, there went my clip. <laughs> that didn't work well. Okay. My clip is not big enough for all the pages. So let me just do like that.
think I'm good. I think I'm, I'm, I like this. I like this. I have a nice green backdrop. Um, I'm going to clean up a little bit, wash out my brush because this is like a thick glue. You really need to clean it out right away. Um, this brush is already trash because I use it for matte medium and gesso and, and everything, but I still want a little bit more life out of it. So I'm going to clean this out and then, um, we'll be back in a minute. Back now I have my other papers put away. And so I think what I'm going to do is I just want to do some big leaves. I just want to do like a big leaf print thing. So I'm going to sketch that out and then I'm going to take this Liquitex heavy body acrylic in muted turquoise and do paint like the negative space. I don't know if I'm done. I don't know if I'm done. I kind of feel like I want to add writing, but I think I need to wait for that to dry. So I'm gonna let that dry for now. And then I gotta determine if I'm gonna use a jelly roll pen or a pencil. What can I use to write on that? All right, so back here now and I just want to do a little bit of writing on here. Um, I'm not sure what, probably writing about spring, I think. Um, but I just feel like in some of these spaces, just to break it up, um, I just want to add a little bit of writing. So I got, uh, I got this jelly pen. You know what? I'm going to get a new pen, I think. All right. Uh, so I'm back here with a new pin and I just want to add some writing and I don't I'm gonna try and make it not super legible Hey guys, I'm here with my finished page and I'm pretty satisfied with this. So I'm just gonna let it sit uh, for a couple days and then see if I wanna add anything to it. I may, I may not. I'm pretty good with it just the way it is. If you like this video, give me a like and a subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.